Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So, in this episode we are gonna go through new Iron Man or Stormtrooper armor sets. So, what this pack will include? Well, a new Raven. The Raven it is named VX-04. A little bit like a mechanical rooster-like pack. And yeah, this pack it will be named Advanced Mechanical Pack. But more about that a little bit later on in this video. Besides the Raven. We are gonna have a Jaguar mount that is also mechanical. The mount, his name is X8T-2249. If that is reference for something, let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea. The mount is actually looking pretty pretty good as we can see in the pictures. But yeah, other than that, Ubisoft is really pushing their luck with these new sets. I mean, yeah, they are cool, but I really think a lot of people really don't want to see packs like these before taking a deep dive into the pack. I really want to thank Ipsarp and VH Gaming for providing most of the videos and pictures. Also, huge shout out to Andy Reloads, who let me use part of his video in this video. So, Andy Reloads, huge shout out to you, my bro. Your video link will be in the description box down below. So. Guys, be sure to check VS Gaming and Andy Reloads. Alright, let's start with the breakdown. The first, we are going through the Iron Man set. A little bit later on, we are taking a look of the Stormtrooper set. But what comes to the Iron Man one? The two set bonus, increase armor and melee resistance when equipped. Bonuses, plus 10 armor and plus 15 melee resistance. The five set bonus on energy beam is discharged from the armor when using the battle cry ability causing area damage. Let's go through the weapons. The first weapon, it is gonna be the two-handed sword, colored cloak, perk for this weapon, increase attack speed, critical chance and critical damage after launching a target with kick of tour. Bonuses, plus 15 attack, plus 8 speed, plus 15 critical chance and damage. Duration and cooldown, both are 20 seconds. Also, we are gonna have a new sword sword, go ripper, the saw rips through the armor when using the Vengeance of Thor ability dealing increased damage and additional increase to defense damage. So that was everything of the weapons and the Iron Man version. So let's put this gear to the test and again huge shout out to the people I'm gonna mention and of course huge shout out to Peter from Andy Reload as well. Every single one of you guys you are awesome. So when entering the combat the two-handed sword it actually will change colors, but for now there is no other visual effects for the weapons. But yeah, the two-handed sword from yellow to purple, that is pretty nice, pretty neat. And like I said before, for the Stormtrooper one and the Iron Man one, the five set perk, aka the beam, that perk will be the full set bonus for both of these sets, so there is no change for the five set bonus. Just like I said before, when using the kick of tour ability or entering the combat with kick of tour, the two-handed sword actually will change colors and I believe the perk or visual effect will take place as long as the perk is activated. So that is actually a pretty nice indication how long or when your perk will end so you don't actually have to look the small little circles above your health bar. So yeah, that is actually a pretty neat little thing. Also, this set is one of those that don't have the cape on the hood, so more hoodless stuff, that is actually pretty nice, I like it. And of course, speaking about the likes, if you like this video, that would really help me to beat the YouTube algorithm, so hit the like if you will. But for now, let's take a look of the naval set, and after naval set, let's take a look at the stormtrooper set, and huge shout out to Andy Reloads once again. So let's break it down. At the time of making this video, I actually don't have any, like, solid opinions about the new naval set. It is what it is. But now, let's take a look of the Stormtrooper set. I actually prefer the white one over the red one. And yeah, like mentioned, huge shout out to Peter, who made Andy Reload's video possible. But as promised, let's take a look of the perks. So the 5 set perk, it is exactly the same as for the Iron Man one. And 2 set bonus, increase armor and range resistance when equipped. Bonuses, plus 10 armor. Also, plus 15 range resistance as a second perk. And let's take a look of this set in use. Also, just like the Iron Man one, the Stormtrooper one, the hood is capeless. And yeah, the beam, it is exactly the same. 
As seen in this video, yeah, even the Goliaths or those little stronger enemies, even they are blown off when you are activating the beam. So in other words, in that situation, yeah, the battle cry itself plus the beam, you will get so much distance and also will make huge amounts of damage for the enemies. So actually the perk from this one, it is hard to handle, hard to aim, but other than that, it might be really fun, really useful. Not sure how this actually will work in the boss battles, but only time will tell and probably VS Gaming will show much more, at least I hope so. Before we wrap up this video, I would really like to know what you think of these armor sets, these weapons, so let me know your opinions, your thoughts about these in the comments down below. Also what else you would like to see in the channel and overall, are you still playing Valhalla or not? Are you gonna buy this set or not? That and much more can be left in the comments. So there we go, both armor sets in combat, the beam of light, also the highlight of this set in my opinion. Let's take one more look of the light beam, boom, there we go, and yeah, huge credits to everybody who helped me with this video. Yeah, these are cool looking, but I don't think this will be worth your money, probably or and most likely this pack will cost around 2000 heals credits aka around 20 bucks, so yeah, that is definitely no for me. Before rolling the outro, huge shout out to my channel members, aka the Elite Wolfpack. If you want to join the Elites, you know what to do, but for now, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also, Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up. And bye-bye.